Rose McGowan claims Harvey Weinstein recently offered her $1 million to keep silent about rape allegations. Rose McGowan claims that producer Harvey Weinstein recently offered her $1 million in hush money to keep silent about her sexual assault allegations. McGowan, 44, who was allegedly raped by Harvey Weinstein at the Sudan's Film Festival in 1997, said that someone close to the scandal hit producer had made the offer in exchange for her signing a non-disclosure agreement. The charmed actress, who starred in the Weinstein's movie Scream, says she countered with her own offer of $6 million. I had all these people I'm paying telling me to take it so that I could fund my art, said McGowan. But she said she began to have second thoughts about the agreement and eventually withdrew her counteroffer. I figured I could probably have gotten him up to three. But I was like you, Gross, you're disgusting. I don't want your money. That would make me feel disgusting, said McGowan. Weinstein offer to McGowan came just days before multiple women accused him of sexual harassment and abuse in a report by the New York Times on October 5th. His spokeswoman says he unequivocally denies any allegations of non-consensual sex. In 1997, she actress reached a $100,000 settlement with Weinstein but says she only learned this summer that the agreement never included a confidentiality clause. On Friday, McGowan walked onto the stage at the women's convention in Detroit where she addressed the crowd about the allegations. I have been silenced for 20 years. I have been slut-shamed. I have been harassed. I've been maligned. And you know what? I'm just like you, McGowan told those assembled at the event. Because what happened to me behind the scenes happens to all of us in this society. And that cannot stand, and it will not stand. McGowan has been Weinstein's most vocal accuser after she took to Twitter two weeks ago to allege that he was her rapist. In the wake of that bravery, other victims and Weinstein's own employees have spoken out as well, despite also signing Enders. We are free. We are strong. We are one massive collective voice, McGowan told those assembled, who she referred to as her fellow, Me Too's, at one point. That is what Rossi and me is about. It's about all of being roses in our own life. Not me, but the actual flower because we have thorns, and our thorns carry justice. And our thorns carry consequence. She went on to state, no more will be shunted to the side. No more will be hurt. It's time to be whole. It's time to rise. It's time to be brave. McGowan then said that these predators who harass and assault their victims are monsters, and their time is running out. In the face of unspeakable actions, from one monster we'll look away to another. The head monster of you right now. And they are the same. And they must die, said McGowan. Weinstein is said to be in rehab but there has still been nothing to prove this claim and now over 60 women have come forward with allegations of sexual harassment and assault. Any allegations of non-consensual sex are unequivocally denied by Mr. Weinstein. Mr. Weinstein has further confirmed that there were never any acts of retaliation against any women for refusing his advances, said a spokesperson for Weinstein. Mr. Weinstein obviously can't speak to anonymous allegations, but with respect to any women who have made allegations on the record, Mr. Weinstein believes that all of these relationships were consensual. Mr. Weinstein has begun counseling, has listened to the community and is pursuing a better path. Mr. Weinstein is hoping that if he makes enough progress, he will be given a second chance.